Today's power pole tip of the week is about the different ways that you can mount your hydraulic anchor. Now think about it this way guys, certainly through bolting is the preferred way for all you technical polling skiffs. But you know, this is the typical bracket that comes with all of our poles. So you can simply through bolt it, you can decide whether you want it outward or inward. But in most cases, this is the preferred way for technical polling skiffs. Now with that being said, some of you guys want to move your pole closer in. You want to have it so that it's tighter to a polling platform or right next to your motor. If that's the case, then PowerPole has created this jack plate bracket. And simply this bolts to all jack plates on the side. Now the Atlas as well as the Bob's Machine Shop brackets have been pre-drilled. After you've bolted to the bracket itself, then you can simply mount your power pole to the back side of this. Now for those of you who don't have a jack plate, power poles made it really simple. You can simply take off the engine and then put this against the transom, mounting your power pole here. This is the shim for the other side and this allows you to be able to use your power poles and have them again mounted using the same holes that you've already drilled mounting your motor. Now for those of you guys that have flat deck boats like pontoons, power pole created this bracket. You simply bolt this to the deck and then you can mount your power pole to this bracket as well. And also for those guys that have boats that are real high, this allows that power pole to extend down in the water so they can actually reach the bottom. Now we've also created a universal aluminum bracket for all aluminum boats. So if you have any questions about how this is mounted through the splash well of aluminum boat, you can go to the Chevy Florida Insider Fishing Report, click on PowerPole, and all your questions can be answered. And that's today's PowerPole Tip of the Week.